write a C++ program to design the class demo with one integer data member and the following methods read and no factorial for calculating the factorial of a number reverse and no to find the reverse of a given number is palindrome to check the given number is palindrome or not is Armstrong to calculate the given number is Armstrong or not where read and no is a private method so we have to create a class which is named as demo with one integer data members and a set of functions a set of member functions the class is created with the name demo an integer data member has been written in the private section the name of the integer data member is a new m with integer type a private method has been written as read and no which is used to read the value of the integer data member from the user by using scene statement So we have written C in extraction operator and new M. So the value of the data member will get read from the read and no method. So read and no method can be called from any of the member function belonging to the class. In the public section, first we are writing a method which is named as factorial. In this program, we are declaring the function inside the class and defining it outside by using scope resolution operator. Scope resolution operator can be used to define a function, a member function outside the class. The symbol used for scope resolution operator is two colon symbol. So while a function is defining outside, it has to first start with return data type so return data type of factorial method is void followed by class name the class name is demo and scope resolution operator and the function name inside the first factorial function first we call the method read and no which will read the value of integer data member num now we have to write the logic to find the factorial of num the factorial has been calculated by using a for loop. We create a variable f and f will get successively multiplied by the value of 2, 3, 4 up to a new m. So it will calculate the factorial of a new m. And the result will get displayed by using a cout object. In the main method, we are creating an object for the demo class. The name of the object is obj. By using this obj object, we can call the public methods belonging to the class. We have written one public method, which is factorial. So we can call by using dot operator. obj dot factorial During the execution of the program, we will be able to find the factorial of a number. We entered 4, so we get 4 factorial as 24.
Similarly, we declared other methods which are required for our program. The next method is defined as re reverse NO, which is used to find out the reverse of a number. So its return data type is written as int because after finding the reverse, we have to return the reverse as a result. Next method we are declaring is is palindrome, which is used to check whether the number is palindrome or not. So return data type of is palindrome is bool which returns either true or false. Similarly, we have one more method declared as is Armstrong, which is used to check whether a number is Armstrong or not. And that also return data type is bool. Now each of the method, we are defining it outside the class by using scope resolution operator. The first we are defining now each of the method we are defining outside the class by using scope resolution operator. The first we are defining the method reverse NO. So we have written the return data type of reverse NO which is int followed by the class name demo and scope resolution operator and the method name. The method name is reverse NO. Inside the reverse NO method function definition, we first call read NO method, which is used to read the value of the data member NUM. And we write the logic to calculate the reverse of a number. We use three variables. D is for extracting each digit from the number, the last digit. And REV is used to successively find the reverse of the number. The data member value NUM we store in a variable which is named as N and we write the logic to calculate the reverse of N. The digit will get extracted by modulus operator and each digit we extract will get stored into the variable D will get successively added into the variable REV. The current value of REV will get multiplied by 10 and the digit will get added and the new quotient will be calculated as n equals n divided by 10. The loop will get repeated as long as the value of n is greater than 0. So each time from the n we extract a digit from the rightmost side and it get added into the REV variable. After the completion of the loop we return the value of REV as a reverse of NUM. Next method we are defining is is palindrome. The return data type of is palindrome is bool followed by class name demo and scope resolution operator and the method name is is palindrome. Now in is palindrome method we are calling the method which is named as reverse NO because in order to find out whether a number is palindrome or not, we have to find the reverse of a number. The reverse NO method has been called and the result of the reverse is get stored into the variable R. Then we check whether the data member NUM is equals the reverse value. If the original number which is data member NUM is equal to the reverse we return the result as true, otherwise we return the result as false. Next, we are defining the method is Armstrong. The return data type of is Armstrong is bool, followed by class name, demo, scope resolution operator, two colon symbol, and the method name is is Armstrong. Inside that, first we are calling the method read and know to accept the value of NUM from the user. Then we write the logic to calculate number NUM is Armstrong or not. We are using a variable TOT for successively find the total, which is initialized as zero. NUM is get assigned into another variable N and len is used to find out the number of digits present in the number. 
So we are writing a for loop to calculate the number of digits present in the number. There is no initialization we have written. In the condition we have written whether n is not equal to zero and we successively divide the value of n by 10. Each time the number is divisible by 10, the value of len will get increased by 1. So for example, if we write the number as 123, so 123 will get successively divided by 10 three times. So 123 divided by 10 will become 12, 12 divided by 10 will become, and 1 divided by 10 will become 0. So when the value of n drops to 0, the loop will get terminated. In the increment decrement place, we have increased the value of len by 1. So after the execution of the for loop, we get the number of digits present in the number n. Now after that, we are finding the computation which is required for checking a number is Armstrong or not. The Armstrong can be calculated by successively adding the power of each digit raised to the length of the number. For example, if you want to calculate 123 is Armstrong or not, we have to find out 1 raised to 3 plus 2 raised to 3 plus 3 raised to 3 and find out the sum of that. Similarly, suppose we have to calculate a number which is 21 is Armstrong or not. We have to find out the length of the number is 21 is 2. So we have to calculate 2 raised to 2 plus 1 raised to 2 and find out the sum. Suppose we have a four digit number. So the raised to value should be four. Each digit raised to four we have to use if it, the number is a four digit number. We have used a do while loop for this computation purpose. Each digit will get extracted by using modulus operator and we find out the power which is used for raised to value. In order to use POW method, we have to use hash include math.h header file. After the computation, we check the original number num is equal to the value of TOT. The calculated result. If both are same, we return the result as true. Otherwise, we return the result as false. If the original number num and the calculated result both are same, if num equals TOT, we return the result as true. Otherwise, we return the result as false. In the main method, we call all the methods of the class by using the object obj. We have already called the factorial method. Similarly, we call the reverse NO method obj dot reverse NO, which will calculate the reverse and the return result we are storing in the variable r. So we display the result as r, which is the reverse of num. Similarly, to find a number is palindrome or not, we call the method is palindrome is palindrome can be called by using the same object obj so we call the method obj dot is palindrome is palindrome method will return the result either true or false so if obj dot is palindrome is returning true so our if condition, in the true part, we write that the number is palindrome by using a cout statement. 
in the else section we display that the number is not palindrome by using the cr object Similarly, to check a number is Armstrong or not, we call the method is Armstrong. Is Armstrong method can also be called by using the same object OBJ. Is Armstrong method returns a result either true or false depending on the number is Armstrong or not. So we call obj dot is Armstrong inside an if condition. If is Armstrong method is returning the result true, so in the true part we write the number is Armstrong. In the else part we write that the number is not an Armstrong number. Uh, we made a typo mistake in reverse and no method name. POW method require math.h header file to be included. So we write hash include math.h. To find the reverse of a number, we have to call the method reverse and no. Read and no was showing an error because read and no is a private method that cannot be called by using the object outside the class. Execute and see the program output.